brief introduction to the BibTeX Publication Management System. It allows you to manage your publication list and post it on your website in a searchable and sortable format. So let's start out here by creating a new bib bibliography. And I'll give it a name. My new publication list. A description. These two things might show up in your RSS feed of your publications. So these are Steve's publications and a website URL. In your RSS feed, uh, each publication may have a link back to your website. So this is where you want it to link to. I'll just have it linked to my home page right now. You probably want to get it to link directly to your publications page. Now, in the data section here, I'm going to paste my publication list as a BibTeX file. So I'll go to Edit Source, and I've got my BibTeX file here with uh, all my publications. I'll copy, paste, and when I return to form mode, I can see all my publications in here. If I want to actually make changes, I can click on any of these publications, and it gives me a nice little form down here to be able to edit the authors or the title or any aspect of the publication in a more user-friendly manner. Uh, the sort options allow me to decide on my website how my users can sort my publication list. By default, uh, they can have it unsorted, which will just show the publications in the order in which they appear in your BibTeX file. By date, that will give headings for the date. By type, uh, which is like conference, uh, proceedings, book, etc. Uh, and you can also choose which sort option you want to be default. Now I'm going to sort mine by date by default. And when I'm done, I'm going to save this. And it'll take a second to uh, save to the database. And I'll click on the View tab here just to get a preview of what the publication list will look like. So here's my publication list, sorted by date, by default. It goes all the way back to 2000. And I can also change the sort immediately in the browser. I'll change it by type, and boom, you see how it all updates instantaneously. I can also have it filtered by author if I just want to see this one author. That will show me the papers he's worked on. I can go back to all. Or I might want to search for a particular uh, paper. Maybe I'll search for the term gender, and this will uh, filter all articles that have keyword gender. So it's very easy for your users to find what they're looking for. And lastly, we've got a RSS feed. If you click on here, it gives you an RSS feed of all your publications. So if users want to keep up with your publications, they can subscribe to this in their RSS reader, and they'll be notified whenever you add a new publication. So let's go back here. What I actually want to do, right now this is still in the uh, BibTeX Publication Management System website. What I actually want to do is I want to embed this into my own web page. So that's easy to do. I'm going to scroll down here into the Embed Code section. I'm going to select the link that's in here. And now I'm going to go to my website. And I'm going to create a publications page. And I'll just paste that uh, script tag right in there. And I'm going to save it. Now, let's go to my site, and we'll see my publications page. Okay, and I've got publications here. This is my new page that I've just created. And there's my publications. This is right on my website. So I've got a sort by date, type. Now, uh, it also registers if a uh, publication has a URL or PDF link. You can see this little icon here. I can click it, and it'll take me directly to that paper to download. It'll also show me the paper in BibTeX format if I want to, to download. And uh, slides and RTF. And there's a whole bunch of file formats that are actually supported. But this is the gist. It allows you to very easily embed your publication list into your web page. This has been a brief demonstration of the BibTeX Publication Management System.